It's a 10 nothing ball game. Southern California over UCLA. Reggie Bush 65 yard touchdown run. Ryan Colleen 37 yard field goal. UCLA possesses the ball. First down from their own 29 yard line. And they have not had much room to run so far today. That's a gain of about four yards for Manny White. Take a look at that fake punt by UCLA. The key block is here by Riley Jondal. He's 195 pounds and he's blocking on Dallas Sarts right there. Spencer Havener leads the block on Jason Leach and UCLA picks up their first first down of the game on a fake punt. Ball resting at the 33 now where it is second down and six. Drew Olson has been hit very hard one time so far today for a loss. There's another loss as the ball is given to Manny White and Mike Patterson just went right down the line with him and took him down behind the line of scrimmage. This is a tackle for loss. It's an official statistic. Number 99 right here. This is Mike Patterson's 16th tackle for a loss this year. That's an incredible number for a defensive tackle. Well, they're just not handling either one of those big tackles so far today. Patterson now is, is, is really, he's getting away from uh, McCloskey at that center, and Vieira's on that side as well, and he's just splitting them and getting after them. It is third down, 11. Drew Olson throws, he's hit as he throws. The ball goes into the ground, incomplete. Tatupu, the middle linebacker, came in and popped him pretty good. Tab Perry was the intended receiver, but never had a chance. Now it's a third down blitz. Watch Tatupu come around, and he'll find an opening. Manny White has to decide on the linebacker to the outside, Rivers, and that leaves Tatupu to punish the quarterback. And it's fourth and 11, so in is Kluwe for his third punt of the day. And he will kick it this time, and that's a beauty. Greg Carlson. Receives it back around the 23 and gets back to about the 27. And the three of Southern California. Bird Beth has slushed it. <laughs> Reggie Bush, the deep back, gets the ball and gets tracked down at about the 32 yard line. Reggie is a sophomore in this Spring Valley, California, as his home. Kyle Williams, number 75, is in at the right tackle spot now for the Trojans. A big 6'6", 290-pound sophomore out of Dallas, Texas. A lot of big young people to be found on the roster of both these teams. Second down, six. They'll run it with White. And Dale White, who comes out of Denver, Colorado, is up across the 35 to the 36. Let's take a look at uh, what Norm Chow is trying to do with his script from the first quarter first time out play out three wide receivers one back then on the touchdown run it was two wide receivers three wide receivers and one back and you see a more normal fit formation with two wide receivers and two backs three wide two backs on this time now every time they change UCLA has to change and they did not stop Bush on that second play. A little quick throw by Liner, and it is completed to Dwayne Jarrett, who is, as Dan said a little while ago, a freshman becoming the go-to guy. And the other part of that, uh, using that script for Norm Chow, is to get his quarterback into a rhythm. Well, how's 10 for 10 for a rhythm? A mission accomplished so far for Norm Chow. Who is expecting uh, to have some talks, I understand, with the Stanford folks in the next couple of days after this ball game is done, the regular season ending. There have been consistent rumors that Walt Harris of Pittsburgh will be talked to as well. That's a pretty good defensive play there by uh, UCLA as uh, Justin London and Trey Brown were able to get a hold of the play and stop it. Now time for the Aflac trivia question. And when was the last time five, I beg your pardon, the last time five <laughs> Division 1A teams completed the regular season undefeated? Five. Uh, we got a mess with three. <laughs> and that was long before those initials. <laughs> BCS. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> three wideouts for Leinert on second down and two. 
He stays with the uh, running game and it's close to a first down with Reggie Bush getting the carry. The difference between Bush and uh, White as far as physical size 35 pounds favoring White. And they really have a friendly competition complement each other so well. Lendell White is finally healthy he was nagged by an in ankle injury. But he's healthy he's determined and it appears that uh, Norm Chow is going to run the ball quite a bit today. Third down on just the nub for a first down third and ten actually. Just a little bit short as they just got it off before the play clock. There's a penalty flag down. I guess the, uh, the side judge over there saw the play clock and uh, threw the flag on them. So they're going to get ding there for burning the clock. And that rarely happens to Pete Carroll's offense. So with that five yard penalty now, it's going to be third down and about 15. Reggie Bush the single back. Jarrett up the at the top of the screen. Alex Holmes the tight end is way down here at the bottom of the screen. Anybody else want me to point out. <laughs> well, the, the, it's unusual to see the tight end that far away from the ball, but he was well, by, by putting Holmes all the way to the outside like that. That forces Matt Clark to guard him. That's a mismatch in UCLA's favor, but somebody else is going to be covered by a linebacker. And a timeout call. 10-16 to go in the first half. And it's third down and 15 now as we come back to the field. Line it with time, gets it off. And didn't get it off very well because uh, he got some heat from the Sulu just as he released it and didn't have anything on it. This is something you don't see very often is Matt Leinert getting this pressure and then getting hit and knocked down. The Sulu right in the back there forced that incompletion. Another big play for UCLA's defense. And that is the beleaguered uh, group the defense for the Bruins. Craig Bragg will go back now as the deep receiver with Tom Malone doing the punting for USC. Kicks away and that's a beauty. Oh my goodness let it go. He takes it back at the five got away with it. Oh I'll say he got away with it. It's now a foot raise if he beats Malone he's gone. 96 yard touchdown return by Craig Bragg. No flags. Well, Tom Malone out kicked his coverage. It was a beautiful, high, long punt of 57 yards, but a 96 yard return by Bragg. Gets away from the Gunners, and now he's got a full head of steam right up the middle. And this is no contest when he gets to the putter Malone. Just what the Bruins needed. Justin Medlock on the field now for the point. Points are precious. Good. Medlock will kick it off. Reggie Bush and Desmond Reed will wait for it. There's the young man from San Jose who certainly knows the way after a 96 yard punt return for a touchdown. This is Reggie Bush. And he's across the 30 and out to the 33. ABC Sports presentation of college football brought to you by Dodge. You can take life as it comes or you can grab life by the horns. Affleck, ask about it at work. And Bud Light, fresh, smooth, real, it's all here. Put it on the 32 for this possession. With 9.45 to play in the first half. A 10-7 ball game now. Leonard. 
steps away from the heat and then just drops it off to Lindale White. And White made something out of nothing because it looked like that uh, Leinert was going to get splattered over the landscape by Trey Brown, but uh, Brown missed him. UCLA getting on the scoreboard with that 96 yard touchdown return. Trojans had led 10 nothing after the first quarter and had been pretty much dominant and uh, they have still been dominant insofar as time of possession and all that stuff. It's only a three point difference now. Lined it on second down and seven gets it away to a, oh my goodness Wayne Jarrett had it in his hands was looking for daylight before he had control and dropped it and we go off to New York to a man who will surely handle it properly. Keith I appreciate the confidence here in this Taco Bell update Louisville what a season it's been imagine if they had held on against Miami that's the fourth to Montreal Jones 18 yards for a touchdown and they are slacking to use 20 year words Keith. Tulane 55 to nothing the score. Keith, back to you. Louisville's putting up some numbers, aren't they? They had 70 last week. Trying to make a point, I suspect. I think they might lose their coach, too. Pressure's coming again, but Leonard gets it away just in time. Completed to Dominique Bird to tie it in, who goes to the 40 yard line. Brigham Harwell. Tracked him down for the Bruin. Now that's three defensive series in a row now for Larry Kerr's guys. And they've stopped SC each time. Watch the blitz coming from Trey Brown, number 23, gets around Reggie Bush and hits the quarterback in the back. That's twice now in this series alone that Brown has come on that corner blitz. And it forces the punt on fourth down and two with Craig Bragg once again waiting for it's blocked. Malone picks it up and the Bruins pick him up at about the 18 yard line. So UCLA right now is on fire. Their special teams taking control of the ball game. Trojan defenders are going to be tested right here. Drew Olson caught from behind. Run down by Eric Wright. Well USC is going to show that they can run the corner crash blitz as well. Pete Carroll seeing that it works for uh, Larry Kerr. Here comes number 25, a little bit late, but with real good speed as Eric Wright picks up his second sack of the season. Eric Wright is a freshman out of San Francisco who has improved every week this season. And he's getting a lot of playing time. It's second down and 17 now for UCLA. They run the ball in the middle of the line but uh, Drew Olson in the meantime takes a pretty good lick Chris Marquis carried the ball but the Trojan defender came around and laid it on him. UCLA is in field goal range right now for Justin Medlock. He's got a lot of range. He's hit a couple of 50 yarders three weeks ago against the Ducks. But the Trojans right now defensively must come up with a big stop on third down and 13. Olsen's pass to the end zone. Incomplete overthrown intended for Junior Taylor. Two big plays in a row by number 25 Eric Wright. Once on the blitz to take down Olsen and then real tight coverage on Junior Taylor. Olsen threw this ball too far though. Taylor 6-1, Wright is 5-11, so you got to give Taylor a chance to out jump Wright. Medlock Never. is into the game now for the field goal try of 39 yards in the opening game of the season against Oklahoma State, career long 52 here in the Rose Bowl. He knocks this one outside the upright and misses it. Back to the field we go. Reggie Bush empties the backfield as he comes out here as a wide receiver gets the ball has a couple of people in front of him tries to split them and does and gets it up to the 35 a pick up on the play of about 13 yards and that's the first down at the 35 yard line. Yeah we got a flag though Keith this one may be coming back. Yeah. Cut block or chop block. You know Keith when you when you see a player as great as Reggie Bush it always reminds you or makes you think about who he might 
remind you of. And I just thought of Gail Sayers. Watching Bush make those quick cuts and then having the speed to run away from people. Clipping offense number 53. That's a 15 yard penalty. We need to get that block Still out of the down. game. It, 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 it happens. Uh, by accident a lot. And. Uh, it's it's a very dangerous thing uh, when it does happen. I think Jeff Byers might have been the one who uh, did it. And uh, it moves the ball now back to the 19 yard line. Where it'll be first down and 13. We'll see how much this has impacted the momentum of the ball game. This is uh, Reggie Bush. And Bush is gone. Forget it. No flags. Touchdown. 81 yards. He may be running his way all the way to a Heisman Trophy with this performance. Incredible run. Breaking the tackle of middle linebacker Justin London, faking Trey Brown out of his jock strap, and this is where you said forget it, Keith. Wow. Kick. Good. By Khalid. High hanging kickoff. Three yards deep in the end zone. Here comes Chris Marquis. And the freshman from Luling, Louisiana, goes down at the 24, and a penalty flag goes right down beside him. 49 blue oh, during the return. Where's the end of the run? That's your flag, Mac. Got a hold against the Bruins. Coming up on the Capital One Halftime Show, John Craig and Aaron highlights from today's big games, and uh, they'll talk about, guess what, the BCS. We might talk about President Bush, too. Not that one, this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you're going to avoid it if you've been watching. I mean, so much for momentum for UCLA after the brag, phenomenal punt return. 17 to 7 ball game with 557 to play in the first half of the Rose Bowl here in Pasadena. Maurice Drew comes in for his second appearance of the ball game for UCLA. Oh, that's a backward pass. Here comes Drew trying to get his wheels moving. And he gets back to the line of scrimmage maybe before Messrs. Cody and Patterson intercept him. Earlier we asked you the Aflac trivia question. When was the last time five Division 1A teams completed the regular season undefeated? Here's your answer. Alphabetically. Alabama, BYU, Florida State, McNeese State, and The Ohio State University. This season, they're also five. Drew looking for daylight. Remember, he's got a sore ankle, and uh, he could not. Uh, it's Marky, I'm sorry, not Drew. And he gets planted right about the time he wanted to make his cut. He looked up, and here was some great big people wearing white. And one of them was Sean Cody. We've talked a lot about Mike Patterson today. That was Cody's turn to get a tackle for a loss. UCLA's offense is, is totally out of sync. Not hard to get out of sync when you've got Cody and Patterson they have in your face. Zero yards rushing and 11 yards passing. Third down and 14. The Trojan defense trying to pin them. The pass is away, and that's going to get them a first down. And that's a very good effort by Tab Perry. Tab, Tab Perry, who was out a year, came back and has fought his way back into a starting job. At wide receiver, senior out of Milpitas. Here he is, right here. He's a big guy, too. 215 pounds with good speed. Watch him use that speed to get away from Justin Wyatt there, then the strength to push Eric right away for another 10 yards. 
And the first down at the 38 yard line. So they were able to shake off those two plays for losses. Woods are trailing by 10, 17 to 7. They've lost five consecutive times. Patterson going across to the neutral zone. And uh, the umpire quickly on it. Apparently he made contact. That much intrusion to an Offside. automatic call, though. Offside. Defense number 99 by contact. That's a five yard penalty. Still first down. That 30 yard completion to Tab Perry has given the uh, Bruins some hope here as we close out this first half. Another big play. Joe Cowan has come in at a wide spot for the Bruins. Passes away. And caught by Craig Bragg. First down, Bruins. Trojan 27 yard line. First catch of the afternoon, a 30 yarder to Craig Bragg. So Drew Olson. Finding his wide receivers, but this time he gives his receiver a chance to make the catch. Slightly underthrown, but the veteran senior receiver Bragg saw it all the way. Makes the catch, secures the ball, and gets down inbounds. The defender was Justin Wyatt. He's had a pretty fair career. Westwood, 181 catches now for Greg Bragg. Marquis. Bing, number 20, Darnell Bing is the first man to get a hold of him. Big old safety. Time for our Dodge defensive playbook. Let's take a look at Darnell Bing. It's going to be lined up out here as the pitch comes. Watch how the big safety at 6'2, 220 plays off the block of Mike Petrie. Right there and gets in on the tackle with help from his friends. There's a pretty good thump as Marquis goes into the line looking for a crack. It wasn't there, it was more like a log bolted on it, or the beam collapsing or something. What Dan was talking about a while ago. Hey, you know, not only this, Keith, but SC has six tackles for a loss out of uh, 14 running plays for UCLA. Yes, Almost the, half. The Bruins are hanging around, though, Dan. They're only down by 10. They get something out of this. Incomplete. Mm. Justin Wyatt defending on Craig Bragg and Justin feeling that he maybe should have come away with that one. Uh, he couldn't get any closer to Craig Bragg than he was. The ball did not lead Bragg away from Wyatt thrown to Bragg's back shoulder. That's why Wyatt could get in there. Fortunate for the Bruins it wasn't picked off on that deflection. This is a 43 yard field goal try by Justin Medlock. A little better contact on this one and it's good. He's a sophomore. And all the coaches who have him on their schedule next year probably rattle the coffee cup a little when they put it down when they think about it. He is a handful. He's going to make you play defense with nine people. Really, and two of them are going to. Two of yours are going to have to watch him. That bounces right to Desmond Reed. There's another fellow that can run that football. Comes all the way back to the UCLA neighborhood of the 40-yard line. So both teams are getting big runs off kicks. You know Trojan fans are going to compare Reggie Bush to this man right here O.J. Simpson back in 1967 battling the great 
Gary Beeman, who won the Heisman Trophy that year. But this run of 64 yards for OJ provided the winning points in that fourth quarter for USC as they beat the Bruins 21 20. Reggie Bush putting his special mark on this one so far in just the first half. Trojans, 40 yard line, Bruins side of the field. In the middle, pass caught by Steve Smith, who has just come off a broken leg, had a fracture, and played last week for the first time in a long time in the Notre Dame game. Now you can always tell who the go to receiver is by where he catches the ball. Steve Smith catches most of his passes over the middle. I know Dwayne Jarrett has a lot more catches but I doubt he would have had that many catches if Smith had been healthy the entire year. Lindale White the deep back. The big man on the first down. And he's got some daylight in the middle. Goes down inside the 20 before Habner makes the tackle for UCLA. A moment with Todd Harris. Well, Keith, the Bruins certainly had plenty of time to prepare for this game, actually three weeks after the Oregon game. And Mike McBride, the head equipment manager, he put that time to good use. Now, this looks like a USC Trojan helmet, but if you look a little closer, it's actually a Bruin helmet that he painted. All the scout team players had USC helmets and jerseys, so the Bruins certainly are prepared for their opponent today. They're trailing right now by just seven. USC trying to stretch it out before the halftime break. Pass on to Reggie Bush. Ball comes out, but they're going to call it, call him out of bounds, and the play over. Wow, that's a touchdown for UCLA if the whistle doesn't blow. I think they said he, his forward progress was stopped. Then the ball came out. Havner picks this ball up. He'll score. But the whistle was blown, and it's SC ball. Look at it. Oh, that's a bad call. That ball was coming loose before the official came in to say that he was his forward progress had been stopped. Good catch by Bush. Good tackle by Clark. But that's a fumble. That's a fumble. Not only a fumble, that's a Bruin touchdown to tie the game. Liner is sacked by Matt Clark, blitzing cornerback. Got the Trojan quarterback at the 25 yard line. And what that sack does, Keith, is it, it really pushes Colleen to his limit. He is not a good long kicker. His longest in his career is 48 yards, and this year just 42 yards. And this one will be 43. 15 seconds to go in the half. It looked pretty good. It's a 20 to 10 ball game. No touchdown. Nine seconds remain on the scoreboard clock now before we have the halftime break. Southern California leading 20 to 10. Low skittering kick. Finally picked up Chris Marquis. He'll come back to about the 25, and we've got two ticks remaining on the clock. I don't know how, but we do. Keith, the uh, Bruins have gained 72 yards in total offense, but 213 on kick returns today. Good news is, Carl, your special teams are doing great. Well they've been pretty good uh, Pete uh, pointed that out the other day in conversation that their special teams have been pretty good all year long. You see now why he was concerned about it. Mm. Well, go for a run and that'll do the halftime. So after the first half of play Southern California 20 to 10 it's a neighborhood brawl it's the rivalry in Los Angeles and we're playing it at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. 